Oh, boy, fellas, Joey's gonna win at your service. <coughs> We're gonna be getting right back into... Desktop Dungeons. I cannot remember where I'm at. I unlocked these puzzles, which, you know, they're, they're fine. I'm not going to do them unless there's something really big or something really good. Gold I can get from somewhere else. Um... Okay, we have a couple of these, a couple more missions we need to do with all of the Tier 1s and the Tier 1s and Tier 2s. Okay. Then... I... will get started on that. I won't do the Tier 2s the tier 2 missions just yet. Excuse me. Um, I say we go for a wizard quest, yeah. And let's let's go for a human wizard. Now, I don't remember if I showed off... Ooh, wanna fight. That's W, yes? For a hotkey? S, okay. For summon. So I don't remember if I showed off the new races. However, just to make sure, uh, the dwarf on conversion points, or on enough conversion points, will gain health per level, and the elf will gain mana. There's a lot of level ones here, my lord. And the Earth Mother's right there. I think... I can't imagine there's going to be many more level ones than this, so what we'll do is we'll start punching. I guess I was wrong. But the reason I bring up the racial bonuses of the others is because you might be wondering to yourself, Wait a minute. Wouldn't an elf make for a really good wizard? And I mean, yes. The elf certainly can with the naturally higher mana pool, does have many benefits to being a wizard. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. Um... <laughs> but... As I've said before, okay, that's all of the level 2s then. As I've said before, even the most magical of classes is somewhat reliant upon physical damage. So even though you might think that it's for the best to play a magical-based race with a magical-based class, that's not always the case. Let's see, let's summon all as many level 3s as we can. We're building up quite a bit of popcorn here. That's all the level 3s. Let's see if we can't five, find a level 4, and we can. Can we get the kill here? Let's see, this should do 12 damage, yep. 
12, and I can cast it twice, 24, and I think we have enough, yeah. Fire, fire, punch. Lovely. Probably can't do the same thing for the meat boy. Oh my! Sending out lone heroes to do the work of an army? Your kingdom is getting quite cocky. I doubt you'll have as easy a time against two opponents. Have a look around for my pet goo. Maybe you'll manage to kill me in an even fight, but I think you'll be too busy drowning in gelatinous fury to get around to it. Victory will stay out of your grasp unless we both fall. Polite regards, Aquitus the Evil Warlock. Well, as I said, I'm not too worried. Now we have this guy here. I didn't mean to push that button. That's okay. We'll get our mana back. And we'll burn, burn, punch, punch. Lovely. It's always a good day when you can uh, fight upwards. Piss Orf, that's a good one. But we won't be needing that, I don't think. Meat Man just has too much health. That guy has too much death. For my liking, anyway. Ooh, a little area here. They gathered in a circle to summon the Avatar. They thought that they could control it, but they were too feeble to even complete the ritual. Their minds clouded over, and they cursed us all. Physical immune, okay. I'll just blast him real quick. Why? Because I wanted to. No more questions. I don't think I can kill him. Alright, I'm not seeing... there's... oh, that's the boss. Please don't use magic, please don't use magic, please don't use magic, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap! What are we even doing here? This is just a terrible idea! Regards, a tower of goo. Alright, I'm not finding anyone else. So, let's go ahead and kill these level 3s. We should be able to take out some of these level 5s now. Let's see, 16, yep. I would have preferred to keep killing some level 4s, but I couldn't find any and I'm running out of black spaces on the map. And we cannot waste such a valuable resource. Let's go this way, and force this desert troll in any dire- actually, we can go in any direction here. Because he'll either get caught on the meat boy, or on this troll. So yeah, let's do that. Fire. Fire. That stacking damage will help us get the kill. Lovely. I was slightly wrong, but... Oh well. It didn't... it ultimately did not make a difference. And that's the important thing. I didn't even see this meat man. Whatever. Fire. Fire. Punch. 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 Lovely. Now for level sixes. I didn't mean to do that. I am fat fingering quite a bit. That's my bad. Actually, let's worship the Earth Mother, because she'll give I'm a wall. We'll drink a mana potion, cast I'm a wall on one of this little popcorn, and get even more XP from this troll. There we go. Also, I see... I don't know if you can see my mouse. Right here, there's a little gap in the... in the wall. 
which means there's something in there. So if I can find an Endis Wall rune, I can access that. We'll just go ahead and use I'm a Wall there to get the uh, bonus, the XP bonus. And I think now we try and kill this Meat Man. I think we still can. I just need two mana. Let's go up here. Get in there. And we kill. There we go. Cast I'm a Wall on some of the little popcorn once again. And we're building up quite some piety with the Earth Mother. So now we need to kill some level 7s. And to do that I need a little more mana. That'll do. I'll actually take that as well. Just in case I end up needing to get in there again. I do not kill. Lovely. Uh, here's a level 7. First things first, I'm a wall. Fire. Punch, and then we get in there. Alright. We can just keep cruising like this, I think. There's very little that can stop us at this point. Pendant of health. That might come in handy. There's a lot of things in these uh, vending machines that might be pretty good. We cast that twice. Cast that again. Punch. We win. Let me see. Okay. Don't really need that rune. I don't think. Oh, there's a meat man here. I didn't see him at first. Fire. Fire. Punch. Punch. Oh, we got a dodge from get in there. Beautiful. Since get in there does give that passive chance to dodge each time you use it. That's why we didn't take damage there. And that is quite fortunate because that allowed us to get that kill that otherwise we would have not been able to get. Level 8. There's a level 9 troll. Two level 9 trolls. Lovely. And there's an end this wall. Let's start burning. Punch. Oh, okay. So we have some slight complications. We're lacking a bit of damage or a bit of health so I think what we do we convert this lemme see for a little more damage still not quite there yet this is only 60 It's 56 because the extra 4 to make it 60 comes from the burning, which will go away. So what I need to do... I'll also convert this Pissorf. And that should be enough. Punch. Get in there. Kill. There we go. We petrify this zombie. Build our mana back up. We are going to need to get in there. So we'll do that now. Blast him. Blast him. Punch. Get in there. Kill. Now I think we are actually in a spot where we want to start going after the boss. 
end this wall just to... There's nothing here. I've been bamboozled. I think we can start going after the bosses. Uh, actually, I can go down to this level again. Three layers of curse. I can actually use this. Because we don't ha What curse does is you will take full damage from all attacks, meaning that if you have any resistances, those get ignored. Like the resistances we've just acquired from using that scroll. But, I think we would have been fine without those resistances. I just did that for the mana. As well, something that we can get going. We can kill these guys whenever we want. So if we ever need our resistances, we have access to them. Um, I will use the Earth Mother's Boons. One, two, three, four. And I'll also grab Vine Form a few times. We're not trapped yet, so let's not overdo it, because we can trap ourselves rather easily with the Earth Mother. And that's just kind of a an ordeal I don't want to go through with. We don't need I'm a Wall anymore, and we don't need one to fight. So we'll get as much damage as we can. And now we'll start wailing on this Tower of Goo. Fire. Fire, who is very physically resistant. But well, that's okay. We need just one tick of mana, so I'll go down here, pick it up, and now we have another use of flames. Now what we can do is clearance and get two more uses of flames. Clearance again. That's my bad. That wasn't enough for another thing of, uh, a whole other thing of mana, another use of flames. So we're going to use plantation, gain all of this piety. Green blood again. Can we still access? Yep. Clearance. We get all of our mana back. And... Now, I'm not going to kill him, because we get a level up on killing him. I'm going to start blasting this guy down. And we punch him. Nice. Get in there. We kill him. Get the level up. Punch him, and we win. And I don't think we bought anything from the shops either, so that's... that's pretty good. Oh! Well, that's on me then. Um... Oh wait, I think I can still... Yes, I can, okay. So, typically for this one, you want to keep your... Uh, either want to fight Rune and get to level 10 to summon to move this dragon. You want to use Pissorf or wait what and swap places with him or push him back. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to get past him. But there is another way by using End This Wall. We can just break the walls down and go around him. And there's Mystera who is an interesting goddess to worship. Um, I'm not opposed to using Mystera, but she's definitely kind of middling. 
Um, she is very much magically based. And... She's a bit... Mediocre. <laughs> Let's see... So we just did the wizard. How about how about we unlock the berserker? Enemy unlocked, Wraith. This is actually going to happen a few times where it's going to say, Oh, you've unlocked this enemy when we've been fighting the enemy, like for several episodes at that point. Just letting you know now. Most honored spell wrong. Kingdom Administrator, your recent expansion of the local Adventurer's Guild, while successful, demolished a nearby graveyard to make room for the beer hall. Yeah, that's worth it. Now, the local dungeon authority reports a growing population of angry wraiths trickling into outlying monster dens. They seem to be draining the magical power of adventurers in an attempt to annoy the living crap out of everyone. Yeah, they, they do that pretty well. And now we have lockers, meaning items that we bring back from our adventures can go there. Quest unlocked, unlikely heroes. An ambitious band of elven warriors has taken a has t yeah, that's correct. Has tanked it upon themselves to clear Venture Cave once and for all. They're an unconventional bunch, but perhaps their determination will offset their oddness. Defeat Venture Cave with all three warrior classes. This only counts if you use elves. Bankers are growing restless. They claim that their money vault is not large enough to fuel their more powerful financomantic rituals. They seek a newer, bigger vault, and they're willing to pay us handsomely to clear a dungeon for conversion. Kill everything in the Venture Cave. Petrification not permitted against level 8 or higher. Alright, well. We can do this in a minute. And you might think, really, Elf for the Fighter, Warlord, or Berserker class? It works out better than you might think. Using magic to augment... It, uh, uh, ...a physical class is quite nice. In fact, I say... No, 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 let's keep going this way. We don't have Sorcerer unlocked. Never mind! Fuck. Alright. Then, let's actually get started with this one. We're using the elf. The spoon costs no money to bring along, so let's bring the spoon. And we're going with an elven berserker, since we just unlocked that one. Now, let me just double check extra damage against higher level enemies, which is good. We like to fight upwards. Mage Slay. Uh, all glyph activated abilities cost an extra 2 mana, but starting attack bonus is plus 20%, which is great, and stacks with this for 40%, and 50% magical resistance. KILL! He's fucking dead. Now, Berserker is when we start to really see Oh, we want to fight upwards. And we have no uh, glyphs right now, so we can just kill this guy and gain that bonus. Same... Oh, wait, he's level 2. And we want to kill upwards. So let's look for level 3. Maybe. Ever. Hey, I'm a wall. Let's actually use this. On this guy. I'd rather not fight this Wraith, but I might not have a choice. Screw it, we'll get mana burned, who cares? Wait, what? End this wall. Both of these are good, I'll hold on to them. Not going to use them just yet, though. Hmm. 
Can I? No. There's Miss Stara. We will not be using her. And I'll just kill that goblin and this meat man to get a level up. And now we're no longer mana burned. Which means I can petrify this wraith. There's a Lemmy Sea rune. I don't know if I care about that. But we're gonna hold off because Lemmy Sea and wait what can let us teleport around a good bit. In fact... Ooh. Now typically, Lemmy Sea has infinite uses because you restore more mana than, you, than it normally costs. There's a Wraith there. But, obviously that's not the case on a Berserker. And I think that's... let's not get rid of it just yet. Let's go to this... I've been bamboozled. Let's go to this... Let's go to this sub-dungeon over here. If I have get in there, I can actually kill him. And I can't quite kill that zombie yet. Let's grab Burned Eraz. Because while it is expensive and not completely viable, it's still not enough. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to test it. Oh, a gnome! Lovely. Dearest adventure, I'm so glad to see someone like you. I've not enough mana to sustain me and have left all my potions at home. Please help me, lest the essence of my very soul fade away completely. I'll make it y worth your while. I have gold, unique talents, and a pretty accurate estimate of exactly how much my life is worth in standard currency. Sure. The gnomes are a great race to use. Useful across many classes. Oh, thank you so much. I'm momentarily in your debt. Allow me to rest here just a while longer and I'll follow you out of the dungeon when you leave. Please don't die as I'll have trouble getting out on my own. The map I bought at Cartography 4 Yi hasn't served me very well. Gnomes are highly recommended for many builds, many classes, because they're very simple and straightforward. I can kill this Wraith. I believe. Yeah. Because of magical attack being halved, we have quite an advantage against these magically based enemies. See, even here. We'll kill this guy. And we'll cast I'm a Wall again. And we can kill this Warlock. A zombie there. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Petrify him. And keep going. While well, I'm at it, I'm actually going to pick up End This Wall and destroy the statue. We still get the XP boost, but now we can pass through that area. Badge of Honor is pretty good. I might pick that up. Let's check these other shops. Troll Heart is good, but a little late for us to get it. Pendant of Health is good. I might still pick that up. Pendant of Mana is also pretty good, but also we are an elf, so our mana problems can be solved rather, rather easily. I'm gonna drop Lemmy See. I still might pick this up, this Pendant of Mana, if we can't quite get to 16 mana. Because if we can do that, we get two uses of Burn Deraz. 
Let's see, how about this guy? Nope, won't be able to kill him. A bit of damage there. Alright, uh... We'll level up if we kill this guy, so... He does 15. How much does he leave us with? Oh. Well, let's burn this guy. Let's step here to do it. Burn this guy. Punch. Punch. Level up. And now we'll be able to kill this guy with burn there as. Light him on fire. Now, I would like... I'm a wall. I think we drink a mana potion to get the I'm a wall buff. I think that's completely worth it. Regen back up. More mana, even better. We'll petrify this zombie. I... Ah, excuse me, but just what do you think you're doing in here? I don't recall giving you permission to enter my realm, and your boorish stomp aboutery has tracked dirt and blood all over my nice, neat, dungeon floors. To add insult to injury, you've also just interrupted my weekly goatee trim. I'm afraid this behavior is quite unacceptable. May your impending death serve as a valuable lesson in manners. Polite regards, Aquitus the Evil Warlock. Yep, it's Aquitus again. Bit of a different mannerism, but that's okay. We don't judge. He's having a different bit of... He's having a different kind of day today. Let's convert this. We have all of what we need, that being the uh, I'm a wall XP buff, we get the kill. We're almost at a level up, not quite, but close. Let's see if we can't find someone else that's pretty high a level. He's close. If I didn't get rid of one of fight, we actually could have killed him. But that's okay. I'm not too bugged about it. If I can get a base damage increase, that would be really nice. Because we already have... 50% bonus. 50% bonus on nothing uh, on a regular hit. To say nothing of the extra 20 we get striking upwards. I think I get rid of end this wall. We petrify this meat man here. Build up our mana once again. 16. Now we have two hits of burn there as. Use that twice. Is that enough? No. Hmm. We can do this if we can build up a little more fire. Another mana potion. Let's drink that. Kill. Lovely. See? Now the question is, was that worth it? I don't know yet. We'll find out. Petrify this zombie. I'm pretty close to uh, 
being able to kill him. Is there a get in there room? It would be really nice if there was. I would appreciate that. No, but there is this guy. And we can kill him pretty easily. And the wall. Now we can kill this guy. Nice. Kind of funny, really, how... Oh, watch out for these wraiths. They're quite the nuisance. And then we go ahead and use... the magical attack and our resistance to just easily quash him. Is that the right use of that word, now that I think about it? I don't know if that is. I like to use big words to make myself sound more photosynthesis. Burn him. Kill. See, we're doing pretty nicely. Not quite able to take on Aquitus yet. I can kill this goblin here. I think what we do, right, we try, we get as close as we can to a level up, and we are going to try to level up mid-fight with Aquitus. I think that's how we go about this. So for this guy, we are going to need both, both burn their ass. Doesn't seem like there's another sub dungeon. Kill this goblin to be able to access. Okay. I'm a wall, this goblin. Now the question is, who can we kill at this point? He just has magical attack, no resistances. Let's buy this Pendant of Health. And we can't afford the Badge of Honor, that's okay. Again, we have plenty of damage, it just would have been nice. We can kill this zombie, because we do naturally outspeed him, but is that worth it? I think, s I think we go after this warlock. Get that boost. Kill this wraith, and this... Zombie. Okay. So now I'm all primed for a level up. Is there... Nope. No black tiles here. We can get rid of I'm a wall now. Let's slug this man a potion. Burn Aquitus. Get some damage there. Kill the meat man, level up. Go back over. Blast him twice with fireball. Punch him the rest of the way and we're good. Didn't even need to use our mana potions. Very nice.
Greetings, compulsive and hordesome kingdom administrator. If your adventurers ever feel the urge to stash some particularly interesting loot after a dungeon run, you should take advantage of the guild's adventuring locker. Yes. I briefly mentioned this, but, uh... It's, it's quite handy to have. Found the gnomes! You've made contact with the gnomes and invited them into the bustling heart of your kingdom. If you help them settle in, they'll be sure to repay you. They're actually rather fastidious this way. Fastidious? Play your cards right and you may even find a use for their unique talents in adventuring. Tr gnomes are actually very good for the magical classes. And you'll see why next episode. With that being said, come check out the stream if you'd like to see some Borderlands 2. I hope you had a good time watching. I hope to see you here again in the future, and I hope you have a good night. I need to work on that outro. I'm still not good at that. <laughs>